Hello, everyone. What's up? So, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kaylee, and today is my birthday. You're not going to see this on my birthday, but it is indeed my birthday. My dad says birthday. He's foreign, so. Today's my birthday. I'm 25. Ooh, old bitch. Anyways, I thought I would get ready for my birthday. Um, so I could do nothing. I forgot this clock is here ticking. Do you hear it? That's the sound of your biological clock ticking, bitch. It's like getting louder. Where's your husband? Why haven't you had kids yet? Your uterus is going to dry up soon. I thought I would get ready to do nothing because we are in a pandemic still and I have no plans tonight. None. No plans for my birthday. God, last year was so different. I can't believe it, really. I'm 25. We're in a pandemic still. This time last year, I had a birthday party um, and a bunch of people came. Yeah, a bunch of people came to my birthday party. So I haven't done my makeup in a year, like a full face of makeup. I'm like, let's just do it. I haven't opened up my makeup drawer in years. Oh my God, look. Ooh. Ginger chews. Anyways, I thought I would sit down and talk and do my makeup and see what my makeup skills are like these days. Let's just do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. So I found this article. It's like one of those dumb articles. It's like 25 questions everyone at 25 should know or learn, should ask herself. So because this is such a milestone, quarter of a century, gosh, wow. I know these are gonna be dumb. Like I know these are gonna be like stupid questions to ask, but I thought, you know, it's something we could do while I do my makeup. So I got my sponge. So the first question is, what is one thing about my life I would change if I could immediately? <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. So I'm just gonna use my, Jesus. This shit is so old, I forgot how to open it. Oh my God, there's literally nothing in this. Oh, she is, she's absolutely bare. There's nothing in there. She can go in the garbage. Oh my God, I can, you can literally see the oil separate in this. That's disgusting. One thing that I could change immediately, probably be my perception towards what success is. I very much downplay the stuff that I do and I very much shy away. Oh my God, it's so chunky. It's like not even coming out. It's supposed to like come out smoother. I very much downplay the work I do. And a lot of times I lie to people. Like I tell people I'm a video editor and not like a YouTuber. And while part of that is true, it's kind of like not because I'm lying to them still. I'm not being truthful and honest because I feel like they're either not going to care or they're going to judge me and I do that a lot and even just like last week I like lied to somebody this is a lot I mean I could change a lot of things but that's probably the one thing I would just be more confident in what I do and lately I have been better but I don't know oh my god my upper lip hair is so bad or let's reframe that it's so good there's so much of it. Question number two is, am I doing what I'm actually passionate about and enjoy? Yes, that's the sad part is, yes, I am doing what I enjoy. So why can't I just be honest and tell people what I'm actually doing? Like, why does this have to be like a whole thing? Oh my God, I'm gonna break the fuck out. Oh my God, this is not gonna match. This is not gonna match. I'm in the house all the time. I have no time to get tan. So I switched things around because my ring light wasn't like staring directly at me. You know, I used to be so good at makeup. Oh my God, like makeup was like my favorite thing ever to do. And I would get so excited to do it. I was so excited to go out. Oh my God. I remember when my friends would be like, hey, you wanna go out? I'd be like, yep, excuse to do my makeup. Let's do it, sit the town. Number three, am I working hard enough? I think I'm actually working harder, not smarter. I think that's the T, I think that's the issue. Because I don't necessarily know how to manage my time, I'm like being willy nilly with my time. I'm not exactly like maximizing my time, if you know what I mean. Oh my God, I'm so pale. <laughs> Wait a minute, I forgot. I don't do my makeup in this order. I don't know, I, I have this issue where I hyper fixate on things. So it kind of makes it hard to like maximize my time when I'm so fixated on stuff. Maybe blue. I'm blue, I hate this. I'm not a lighting technician, like the fuck? I yeah, uh, so I hyper fixate on things. I guess if I could change anything, it'd be everything. Do I give my family enough of my time? I give them too much time, way too much time. Way too much time, not enough alone time, leave me alone. Am I an honest and loyal friend? Hmm, that's a, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, I can be shady. I think 
everyone can be shady. Oh my god, my, my James Charles palette. Fuck. Sometimes I have my own best interests at heart and not my friends. And sometimes that is appropriate. And sometimes like obviously you have to have your best interest, your own best interest at heart. Sometimes I put myself first in situations I know I shouldn't, if that makes sense. I don't know, I can be a shady friend. <laughs> These are all really dumb. These are dumb. Am I living life the healthiest way I possibly could? Obviously not. Who is? Like literally who is? Am I still holding on the grudges from the past? Absolutely I am. <laughs> I'm thinking we're doing this. Do I think? about me and what i want i think a little bit too much i'm always like me 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 you know what i mean oh i forgot to tell you what i was doing i'm doing this on my crease people around me will start to ask me questions about marriage am i ready though <laughs> fuck no babe i'm done with this this is so stupid does he treat me right what where do i see myself in the next five years i think that what the pandemic has taught me and probably a lot of people is don't plan anything like at all like don't plan anything don't plan your life don't plan the next move just go with it just do it no planning doing more doing no planning sent the location <laughs> my god it's been so long I, really, I literally feel like a friday night which it is and like i feel like i'm about to go out which i'm not but you know kind of feel some ibs issues coming on i'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Am I happy with the space and city I'm living in? 100% yes. I definitely see myself living in Atlanta forever and ever. I do wanna travel more for sure. Like obviously this is gonna be home base, not just cause my family's here and everyone I've ever loved is here. Do I depend too much on other people for my happiness? Okay, used to, 100%. 100% would seek validation from others. Can never validate myself. And to a degree, I still do that. Like I think that sort of has manifested into like my career. Okay, why am I doing that? What is this? Career? It's a career. Shut up. It's career. Oh my God. You see, it's like that stuff that like invalidates it. What is this? Therapy? It's okay, I don't have therapy till next month. So I'm kind of like dry. I'm like a little, I'm like a little therapy dry. So that color is done. I think I'm gonna go in with this orange. Oh my God, look at that color, pretty. Do I let others take me for granted? Used to be for sure. I think that like just comes with growing up. Like obviously when you're younger, you seek validation. So like you're more privy to that kind of stuff. Am I satisfied with the way I interact with people I meet socially? Honestly, uh, the last couple of years, yeah. Like my social skills have gotten so much better. I think it just comes with being comfortable with yourself, to be honest. Do I sleep enough? Absolutely not. Am I happy with the way I earn and spend my money? Absolutely not. I spend way too much money and I don't make enough money. I think that's uh, one of my goals for 2020 is to just like make more money or try my hardest to make more money. It could be kind of weird to bring up the whole money thing, but I've started to realize that we should normalize like content creators talking about making money. Obviously you don't have to talk about the money you make, but I think it should be known that like, I like had this realization one day that was like, I put out so much free content. I put out all this free content that like nothing I do has like a, like a paywall. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's great. And obviously I don't want people to feel inferior to the, to that paywall. But at the same time, it's like AdSense and like monetizing my videos through like an ad service is like not cutting it and does not pay my bills. That's basically why I started editing for other creators and that's really where my money comes from. But I think we should, my eyeshadow looks really good. She's an MUA. But yeah, I think we should just be like a little bit more gentle when like creators like start to put like, you know, money value on their content because it costs a lot of money to make content. Obviously there are some exceptions like charging hundreds of dollars for like a piece of merch or something. I don't know. And I'm gonna go in with that red and put it on my lid. Oh my God, I'm about to look so beautiful. I also have a gripe with when creators, they put out a lot of free content and then they try to do one thing that costs money and people are like, <laughs> I'm so, I'm not supporting you anymore. It's all about the money for you. You don't get a right to do that, in my opinion, especially because I just feel like people have just have the nerve, you know? It's like they, they do one thing that costs like five bucks a month that is optional. That's not gonna take away from the, the content you're already viewing. They're not all of a sudden like making all their content unavailable to be watched for free. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my foiled pigment and put it on my eyes. I dropped this so it's completely Loose, um, so that's not good. Number one victory, Mario. Do I want to study further? Absolutely not. That's crazy. 
I like straight up just didn't finish school. <laughs> Look at this. You can't really see it, but like it's so fucking beautiful. There are rarely times where I fear, feel inferior to people who haven't gone to school, but there will be times when I'm talking to like older people, like an older generation, and they'll be like, oh, where did you go to school? And I'll be like, oh, I went here, but I didn't finish. And they'll be like, oh, but like, are you going to? Like, what are you doing now? Like, you, you're gonna be finishing, right? And it's like, no, I'm not. Okay, I accidentally put a little bit too much in my, my crease. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. It's all on the ground. All that foil pigment is on the ground. It's literally all gone. It's all gone. Oh my God, I'm so upset. Oh! So my slip off. My entire expensive foiled pigment is just gone now. All right, well, now I'm gonna put some fucking concealer on underneath my eyes. Oh my God, that just ru really ruined my mood. Mood ruined. <laughs> I use two concealers, NARS and Naked Skin. Um, it's really good stuff. I guess. I don't, this is definitely not in order. That's why I'm gonna use it. It makes brightens my under eyes. It just brightens it really nice. Do I know how to be alone? Honestly, almost to a fault. Like, I love being alone. Gosh, this makes me want to go out so bad. Oh my god, like, I'm like itching. And number 25. Do I stand up for my values and beliefs? I think. Like I said, like a little bit. I think I, I think a little bit too much. I got into a fight on Facebook the other day um, <laughs> over some anti-abortion shit. And my mom was like, why would you do that? <laughs> and I'm like, girl, because I need to stand up like for the people who can't. I don't know. Like also what? Okay, this foundation is so nasty. Like look at my nose. Like what is that happening? What is that stuff happening on my nose? I definitely don't close my mouth enough, especially like, like online and shit like I'll call somebody out, especially on Facebook. God, it's like, I don't know what it is. It's like Facebook gives me like a whole nother like type of serotonin. When I, get, <laughs> when I get on fights with like family members on Facebook, I had a family member talk about how like COVID isn't real or some bullshit. I know what I say. Oh my God, I said some really out of pocket shit. I said like, I didn't know you were a doctor. I didn't know you had your MD. <laughs> I'm sorry, you literally have like no science to back it up. I think I did too much, too much bronzer. Honestly, who cares? I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck? I'm literally acting like I'm gonna be like in front of flashing lights. Oh, I also used to do this. This is the test. This is a flashback test. I literally would go. Look at her, she's gorgeous. Look at her giving us Dior, giving us Gucci model. Fuck no baby. Okay, now blush time. Would my five year old self be happy with the person I am today? Today. What was that? What? To be honest, I don't think my five-year-old self could comprehend what it is that I even do today. How do you explain to a five-year-old? So, so in 20 years, you are going to be a YouTuber. You are going to stream on Twitch and you will edit videos for other YouTubers. I would tell someone that today and they would, they, they're like, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand like, what it is exactly you do. Oh, I gotta poop. Hold on. I'm gonna try to put on what's left of my Fenty Beauty. Like, I can't believe I haven't done my makeup in a year. Like, that's crazy to me. Oh, wow, she's blinding. <gasps> wow, she's blinding. Should we do a red lip? What is this? It's not really red. Hmm, this color isn't really red. It's more like a... Wait, what is... Wait a minute, this... My fucking vision, this is completely red. I always suck at doing my lips. But here we go. I like completely overdrew my lips, huh? Waiter! Waiter! This is the best I can do. Oh my God, why does this look so weird? Oh my God. Oh, and to top it all, I always forget this. I'm like, what is missing? What is missing? And guess what it is, bitch? Mascara! I have the grossest, shittiest mascara. Oh my God. I haven't felt this pretty in so long. I feel gorgeous. I mean, like I feel pretty every day. Don't get me wrong, but wow, do I feel pretty right now? Oh wait, my Postmates is here. Hold on, I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. I'm honestly afraid to fart right now. I gotta say, this look is everything. I love it. This is it. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. I feel very pretty. I'm about to go take a hundred photos of myself. I look so good. Okay, let's go get my bubble tea. Let's see what we got. Let's do a haul. Why do they give me 
Bitch, so I have not one, but two drinks. Of the over what? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Taste test. Ooh. That's good. That's good, That's bitch. Here's your 25. Along with some bubble tea. Okay, bye. Okay, this is it. Goodbye. Mwah. Bye.